What's up everybody, Garden City Aviation here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a review of this NG Models Delta 737-800. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before uh, we take a look at the model uh, in depth, let's look at the box. So I'm going to put the model to the side, right over to the right of your screen. Um, it's not in frame, but uh, anywho, let's take a look at the box. Now the box, I mean, compared to some of NG's other boxes, the box looks kind of bland. Um, you have Boeing 737-800, all these are trademarked, of course. The, uh, Boeing 737-800, you have the Delta logo, you have the... Um, uh, computer generated clip out of the aircraft Delta logo again the Delta logos with the sky team logo as Delta is a part of sky team the registration which is November 3734 B uh, November 3734 Bravo or N 3734 B you have the Boeing trademarks NG models logo um, in the white band which is in blue and then one to 400 scale um, models die cast metal wait, one to 400 collectible models die cast metal but um um, I'll talk about the reason why I don't really like the design of the box later, but, uh, let's look on this side. Looking on this side of the box, you have Boeing 737-800 NG clip out of the aircraft registration, um, and then here, it's this pattern, um, the, f um, bottom of the box, uh, as you guys can see right here, and the top of the box are both the same thing, and then, of course, the left and right side of the box is just a Delta with the Sky Team logo and uh, NG models, Boeing 737-800. And then, of course, on the back, the back of the box, of course, is the same as the front with this, you know, sort of white, with this sort of, you know, blue and red cobbled together with this white line. Now, that's something that I don't like about this box. Um, and then, of course, um, you have all the um, Instagram stuff, warranty, the barcode, and all that stuff. But basically, something that I really don't like about this box, um, this is really, I think, ruins the box, is the fact that you have this really big white lines, these white lines. The side, it looks nice, but, um, on the actual front and back of the boxes, I don't know, it, does, it just doesn't look professional. Um, like, it doesn't look, you know, as streamlined as, say, you know, um, give me a minute. It doesn't look as streamlined as the um, NG Star Line 737-800. Um, it doesn't look as streamlined like this box has, you know, transition blue to black. And I honestly think that NG could have done the same with this. But instead they just decided to have a hard, solid uh, transition from blue to white. So I really don't like that about the box. But yeah, that was the box. And now let's go on uh, in depth into the model. Before we go into the detail segment, I just want to tell you guys a little bit on the background of this model and why I got this model. Uh, so basically, I asked for this model for Christmas, and I got it for Christmas, so which I'm really happy about. And not only did I get it for Christmas and I asked for it, but I actually really needed it for Newark as Delta do fly um, on two routes, the 737-800, they fly daily from Salt Lake City and Atlanta, and I believe once or twice a month from what I've seen to Detroit and Cincinnati. So that was, re that was the reason why I got this 737-800, and this was also part of NG's November 2020 releases. Um, if you guys remember, you can check out the video. I'll put a card up, up above right now. And so the reason why I got this... Um, model was not only did I need it for Newark, but I really liked delivery, and um, this was really the only model I needed from the November 2020 releases, the La Compagnie I didn't need um, from NG's November 2020 releases, the La Compagnie I didn't need, the Jet Blue I didn't need, but it looked really cool, and the Air Canada Rouge I, you know, just didn't need at all. So yeah, that was the reason why I got the model, and now let's go into the detail segment where I will be showing you guys the box and the details and my, you know, sort of problems slash kinks with the model. Sitting over the detail segment for this model, here you have the cockpit windows. Uh, you have the very, very tiny Sky Team logo right here. Uh, you have the Sky Team logo. And then, of course, you have the forward landing gear with the blue landing gear bay doors. I'll move the model a little bit back so you guys can see better. You have the L1 door, the red Delta logo with the blue Delta titles. And moving on down the fuselage, you have a large, I don't know if this is a navigation hub, a uh, hub slash HUD, or is it just a Wi-Fi hub? I think the smaller one is the um, Wi-Fi hub slash HUD, 
uh, but I don't know for sure. Um, there's no way for really me to know for sure, so um, please comment down below which one is which. Um, but yeah, or it could be the case that one of them is for entertainment, one of them is for Wi-Fi, but I, I have no idea um, which one of these is Wi-Fi and which one of them is different. But uh, yeah, anywho, moving on down the fuselage, you have the blue engines. I'll um, focus on the model so you guys can see it better. You have the uh, wonderful blue Delta engines. And then, of course, here you have the two emergency exits. You have an antenna here. And then, of course, you have the winglets, which are just uneventful. Um, they are just in blue, and of course, they're not split scimitar, as you guys can see, they aren't split scimitar, sadly. <laughs> I mean, I wish they were split scimitar, but, uh, I don't think Delta actually has that in their fleet. But, uh, yeah, anywho, moving on down, we have this Wi-Fi hub slash HUD slash navigation hub slash HUD, I have no idea which one this is. Uh, and then, of course, at the back of the fuselage, you have this, um, antenna, as you guys can see. The registration of the aircraft, which is November 3734 Bravo, or N3734B. And then, of course, you have the El Tudor and the Delta Tail with the Delta logo on it. And then you have the serial number, which is... Or, oh, that's not the serial number, actually. That is the registration of the aircraft on the tail, which is 3734. Uh, and then, really, the only difference between um, this side of the model... Um, uh, between the um, left side of the model and the right side of the model. The only difference is that I believe on one side of the model there is, yeah, on the right uh, facing side of the model, right turning side of the model, uh, you have this uh, cargo door. And then on the other side of the model, you have uh, no cargo door. So that's really the difference between the two sides. Uh, and then, of course, on the back of the aircraft, you have this sort of hump. Uh, I don't know what it's used for, but you have a sort of hump. Uh, and then, let's move on to the bottom of the aircraft. Moving on to the bottom of the aircraft. Um, of course, all the landing gear has come intact. Uh, the bottom of the aircraft has this blue Delta belly with the uh, Delta logo in white and Delta word and the words Delta in white. And then, um, all landing gear comes intact. The engines are colored on the bottom. Uh, and then you have two antennas, as per usual, with NG's 737s, as you guys can see. And um, overall, this model looks really, really nice. Uh, it's really, really good value for your money, um, what you're getting as compared to Gemini. Like, I know Gemini is really good, but th this is just really, really nice. And um, then something that I also forgot to mention, uh, I don't know if you guys still want me to mention it, is that you have this. I don't know what this is called. I think this is emergency exit um, arrows. Um, most aircraft have them. I don't know what this is called. I think they're called emergency exit arrows. Please comment down below what they are. Um, but, um, yeah, that was the model. And the model overall, like I said before, it's a pretty nice model. Um, there's only a few kinks with it, which I'll get to in a few moments. But, um, that was the model. And now let's get to the kinks slash problems segment. Okay, so really my only kinks with the model is that I have three major kinks slash problems. And the first one is that the Delta logo here, it looks, it's very off-centered. Um, the red Delta logo, as you guys can see, it's off-centered with the uh, blue Delta logo. The blue Delta logo looks fine, um, but as you guys can see, the red Delta logo doesn't look good at all um, due to the fact that it is um, off-centered. And that is something um, that I wish NG would change. Now, I don't, I don't think it's my model um, that came like this because looking at the pictures online, uh, most of the models in the model stores, when you see the pictures of this model, look like this. Um, and then my other second major kink slash flaw on the model is that, as you guys can see, there's a very faint line here. It's like an indent on the model. It goes from like here, um, from above the red, from below the red Delta logo to probably the registration and I have a kind of a problem with that because I think it's the model um, that the model is under pressure in the packaging but I don't know for sure because I hope that most mod I hope that it's only my model that has this problem because it's not really that noticeable but when you look at the model you know up close it looks 
it's pretty noticeable uh, on the model. So I do believe that it's because of um, the pressure that it was under in the bot in the packaging and of course in the um, box that it chipped in. So that was really my third second kink. And then the third and final kink is that as you can as you guys can see here, there's this blue paint and it's not noticeable on the top of the fuselage. Of course, as I showed you guys, the blue paint on the bottom of the fuselage, it's like a dark blue. Here it's pretty nice, it stays dark blue. But then on the back of the fuselage, it I don't know if it's just from water damage or something, but and I've only had the model for a week now, a uh, week and a half, two weeks now. Three weeks actually, no, two weeks, two and a half weeks. So it's definitely not me. As you guys can see, this is a perfect shot. The dark blue sort of fades into a whitish sort of blue color. I know what you call this. It sort of fades into like a, you know, like a, a, a whitish, whitish blue. And it's quite noticeable when you look at the model on the bottom. And it's also here when you have all these indents, which is supposed to be for the um, uh, lights. The um, landing gear light, not landing gear lights, the um, lights on the bottom of the aircraft. They also did this where they lightened the paint. And, you know, that just, you know, decreases the quality of the model, which is just a big, 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 big downside. But, you know, other than those few kinks, this model is pretty decent. I mean, it's a very, very nice model. Um, and do I suggest you get it? Definitely. 100,000%. Um, and if you guys do get this problem, you can always return it, um, but it's not really, you know, a big problem for me personally, as I have seen worse on models. But overall, it's a great value for your money, what you're paying, that $43.95 for such a good model uh, for such a great airline. But that being said, let's now move on to the ending segment. That being said, let's just conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and comment down below what you think I should improve in my videos. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.